inspiring. That would be the right word that describes lovely owners of world famous catamaran Lady Rosalind. Look up Trash Tuesday to uncover the remarkable story behind this incredible vessel. It's a tale of passion, environmental stewardship and the power to create positive change. And now she's for sale. I'm Zvonimir Kalinic from the Multihull Company. Welcome to Montenegro. Let me take you on a tour of Lady Rosalind. Please come with me. Okay, let me do my work. I just have an email to check. And just after finishing my job, when I feel a need for a cold drink, I have a fridge just over here, below the helm station. There is a beautiful ice maker which produces really nice big cubes. It it took about an hour to produce such a big amount of ice. And we have a sliding door that open, stretch all fully. And now we have cockpit connected with a, with a saloon. It makes a beautiful open space area and it's so big. I don't believe that camera can show you this uh, properly. Inside we have a decently sized galley with, with dual sink. We have combo of isotherm fridges and another one here on the side. Uh, of course we have four, bur four burner stove and microwave and inner oven. On this side we got one very useful amenity. <laughs> it's a washing a dishwasher. One really nice feature, which is not that it wasn't seen already, but it's so practical, is the swivel and screen that takes the TV on this side, and you can have fun watching your favorite movie on the, or any kind of <laughs> sports game just from the cockpit. So this setting is really comfortable, deep enough, you can have a nice nap during the afternoon and there's a beautiful storage, pretty handy when you have, when you when you feel really lazy. <laughs> Further down the owner's cabin, uh, I'll show you around. Let me switch on the lights. Further down, I'm taking you in owner's end suite, which is which incorporates a beautiful, really decently sized small office. There's storage space everywhere, and there's really enough space to, to put everything you need in your life on this board, on this boat. And we have a big size uh, bed, beautifully ventilated, and of, of course everything is uh, air conditioned. The rest three cabins are practically identical, so I will just leave pictures to do the dock.
One really cool feature that we have on board Lady Roslyn is that we have night watch. We are using the iPad. There's a beautiful bamboo stand inside the, of the owner's cabin. So you put this iPad over there, which is connected directly to the Garmin. So there's no need during the during the night if you have a restless night with a forecasted winds that might exceed your expectations. You have the alarms, you have the, the everything, all the data over here, and you can easily check it from your uh, cabin. There's no need to go out from your room. Here I'm holding a fortune in my hand. It's all of the records or instructions that one might need uh, for easy for easy access to the boat in case he needs to operate the boat. So we have an uh, exact procedure how to operate the water maker, how to uh, start the generator, every procedure that might need some learning curve. It's it's well described over here, together with 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 manuals of, of uh, how to use uh, the boat in different weather conditions such as reefing points and uh, anything that someone who is found first time on the boat might need. So at this pretty comfortable helm seat which can take probably three pe people you have standard controls that can, can do that everything is here you've got Garmin uh, plotter we have Garmin multi instruments of course compax uh, engine controls engine levers and our engine rpm and Volvo pentas of course there's a chain counter so most of the work when taking the boat to an anchorage you can do yourself from from your helm station okay so i will show you now the how i call it the half flybridge because some might say this is side helm station it's not really a flybridge boat it has a flybridge over here kind of a uh, helm station is just on my right a little bit down and it's a super cozy place for cocktail or sunbathing or, or whatever you can really enjoy even under sails one really cool feature on this boat and very very super useful feature is this is additional engines control engine levers that you have here that are safely bypassed by using the switch over here that allows you to keep everyone safe on board because it, there's no way to activate these by some children or some accident so this is completely foolproof system that will provide you control over your engines and this is super useful when you need to grab the rope uh, help with the anchoring or whatever you're doing it's a great feature to have it on the stern to have these controls on the stern okay going into the port side engine space uh, there's a beautiful Volvo engine inside but I wanted to show you how the how the engine spate is neatly organized we have uh, batteries sorted out on, on my right side we have an uh, upgraded aqu aqua base system over here it's a water maker that used to produce 60 liters per hour and now the the owner wanted to have a better efficiency worked closely with Aquamar engineer and now we have a beautiful system that delivers 110 liters uh, per hour and uh, it's also well organized the, the bilges as you can see are super clean and uh, it's like a new boat let me show you the other side okay starboard side we got on a generator with about 2000 and later I find it out how many hours working perfectly there is a dual exhaust system so you can choose whether you want to have the exhaust go straight through the water or you would like to hear it so actually it's just what the owner told me uh, just uh, an hour ago he explained me that he likes to hear it. it's maybe a little noisier 
solution, but it's you know good to know the, that you have both options available. If you want it to be more quiet, you can always have it direct exhaust into the water. There's the engine. We've got the electric panel and with uh, uh, 200, uh, 230. Also, what we have here is automatic switch that switches between uh, shore power and generator power, or you can use choose to, to have it all uh, manually. Uh, it's one nice feature, one nice upgrade that, that the owner uh, uses during the summer. It, it's all automatic, so you don't really need to dig into the engine space and, and uh, uh, look for the switches. And let me take you let me take you, uh, show you something else. Same as as on the on the port side, on the starboard side, we have another toilet and headset, and we've got the forward V bird that might take one person if necessary. But the owner really uh, uh, uses it for uh, for toys, for the for fishing rod and uh, there's an additional space over here for uh, for the spare parts for all the filters for everything you might need to, to maintain the boat and uh, trust me I couldn't follow up of how much equipment there is on board it's practically you have everything here just you need to fill up the fridges and set off and sail anywhere in the world in this very moment it's completely turnkey ready so one cool feature that the owner designed on this boat is the easy removable hatch kind of a door and the shelves that hold the sails, the wind jacker, the below this shelf there is a fishing material with rods with the spares and this is super convenient place to, to keep all of these things uh, reachable. You can also reach them from, from the top, from the top hatch, or you can just store them from this side. Uh, it's easy to, to close it down, easy to reach to it. And in necessity, if somebody wants to make the normal standard cabin, it's easy to remove these shells and just install the Webert cushion, which is this boat is uh, equipped with it, is stored in storage. So if one needs to get this cabin and, and to use this uh, the toilet as well, it's very easy to do that as well. And as I'm mentioning the almost brand new trampoline net that was installed in Turkey, I would like to mention also that there is a big set of poles inside. You can put the you can put the large awning or uh, just uh, on top of all this front bow area and create a big really huge shade and it's in two layers so the, the, the any excessive heat goes goes out as well so they're really nicely covered uh, protected from the sun and you can really enjoy your time over here on the anchor so just in front of me I have a ladder with easy access to the mast I can reach up to the ropes We've got Dyneema ropes over here, which the owner has just stored until the new owner comes to collect the boat. Then he will return the back, same as the sails as well. They are stored in, in the storage. Uh, you will notice that the height of the boom is not difficult at all. So it's easy to grab the main. Grab the main. Uh, home station is just here on, the, on my right. So if, if there's any help necessary it's very easy and convenient to come from the helm station to assist a bit and return to the helm station back again as a yacht broker i am uh, often asked about bristol condition boat and what it refers to a bristol condition boat refers to a vessel that is in impeccable or near perfect condition, often exceeding the expectations of its age or model. And that term originates from the city of Bristol in England, which is known for its high standards of craftsmanship and shipbuilding. 
boat in Bristol condition typically showcases meticulous care, attention to detail and thorough maintenance. And I have to tell you, this boat is in Bristol condition. Further to this, the owner of Catran, Lady Roslin, has thoughtfully created an archive of 68 instructional videos. These videos serve as a valuable resource for the future owner, making it easier to navigate the boat once purchased. Don't miss out this remarkable opportunity. Contact us today and let the voyage of a lifetime begin.